Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mr. Stone, assistant head here at HEOD. This is the first in a series of very short videos which are designed to support parents uh, in helping their children access home learning during the school closure period. Uh, in this first video, I'm just very quickly going to run through where to find the work on Google Classroom and, and just troubleshoot a couple of the issues that have arisen this week. You will be aware that we use Google Suite as our predominant learning platform um, and all pupils have got Google account details in the front of their planners. Um, most of our pupils are very familiar with how to access these. So in order to get to Google Classroom, you've got a couple of options. The easiest one is to open a browser on a laptop or computer or an iPad and to sign in to the browser in the top right corner. If you're unable to do that, for whatever reason, you can search for Google Classroom in the main search bar here and enter your account details when you arrive at that page. To make things easier, I'm already signed in as a pupil here. So I can log in and see my account details. And if I open the waffle here, the, the nine dots in the top right hand corner of the page, I can access all of the Google facilities that are available to me. So you can see I've got my email account here. I've got my Google Drive space, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on Google Classroom. So if I open Google Classroom, it brings me to a landing page uh, where I can see tiled on the page all of the different classrooms that I am currently enrolled to. Now, obviously, as it stands there, that's quite overwhelming. and We wouldn't expect you to have to go in and dig into each individual classroom. The best way to access the work on a daily basis is to use the to do tab on the top left corner. So if I click that tab here, I'm given three options along the top. The first one is to see any assignments which are currently active and assigned to me. I can have a look and see, and this is great from a parental perspective, if I've missed any assignments uh, recently, and I can filter that by uh, an appropriate time period. And I can check to see which ones I've handed in and submitted. If we focus on the assigned tab, just to make you aware then, in this latest period of blended learning, we've asked all of our teachers to offer lessons in line with the usual timetable that pupils would follow if they were face to face in school. So this means that you should only really see five or six um, assignments live at any one time during this section. And we've done that so that we don't overwhelm pupils with lots and lots of uh, tasks which have been preloaded. So here you can see, for example, um, a, a typical day. Now, some of these lessons will arrive prior to the start of the lesson. Um, as it would appear on the school day. But we have asked teachers to try to schedule the lessons to appear in line with when they would ordinarily take place. And that enables you um, to support your children in adopting a productive routine throughout the school day. With the exception of pupils being at home, um, we very much want this to be business as usual. So the lessons for the day should appear here. And what this does is collates all of the active assignments from all of the different classrooms so you don't need to go looking for those. If I'm ready to complete one of these tasks, then I just click into the task here, and then I have my instructions from the teacher. Also note the important information um, in the title of the task as well. It will tell you specifically when and how long you should access this task for. And then very importantly, with any assignment here, there is a hand in button once a task has been completed, and this will enable your teacher to see that the work has been done. Um, in terms of due dates, try not to panic um, too much about these. Um, obviously, new lessons will arrive online on a daily basis in line with your child's timetable. Um, and so what we don't want to do is overload the to-do list, the assigned page, with tasks that have got a much later due date. So we've asked teachers to try, where possible, um, to close the, the, the task by the end of the working day. Um, in another video, I'll show you how to turn notifications off for, for um, due times on, on work uh, because I, we don't want uh, alarms ringing on phones at any particular, uh, these particular times in the day. So um, in essence, that's, that's everything you need to find to work. 
obviously in most cases the teachers will set assignments and live lessons through Google Classroom. Um, some subjects use third party programs such as MathsWatch and Educate, but in all cases the instruction should come through Google Classroom in the first instance. As ever, if there are any questions or queries, please get in touch with the school, either myself on mstone at healthy.org or phone the school uh, main reception and I'll put the contact details at the end of this video. Thanks very much.